Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So we have the subtracting decimals mastery check for this video here where you are going to see if you have subtracting decimals down and you know what you're doing. If you want more of an instructional type video, I dropped the link to my instructional video in the description so go and check that out and then come back to the mastery check to see if you have it down. If you're ready to test yourself here, we have six, pro six problems below that you're going to solve. You need to have something to write with and something to write on. So when I say pause here in a second, you're going to pause, solve these six problems. When you're ready, press play and check your answers with mine. Your goal is five or six correct out of the six, and that will show you really know what you're doing. So remember, line your decimals up. Use placeholder zeros if necessary, borrow correctly, and just go through that subtraction process and you will be good to go. So have uh, the materials to write with and go ahead and press pause. Alright, welcome back. I'm assuming you have all six of those written out, so I'm going to go through them here and check your work with mine. So let's line up our decimals here and subtract. And we get five in the hundredths, two in the tenths, dot, dot, dot. Three minus one is two. So you should have two and 25 hundredths for number one. Hopefully we're off to a strong start and we are one for one. If not, that's all right. Make sure you see where your mistakes are. That's just as helpful and just as positive as getting these correct. Make sure you see where your mistakes are if you are getting them incorrect, okay? So this one, we're a little offset when we line our decimals up, so we use a placeholder zero. Hopefully you didn't just drop that nine down. So we need to borrow here. 10 minus nine is one. Need to borrow again. 17 minus nine is eight. Decimal straight down. Six minus three is three. 3 and 81 hundredths. Number 3, we have a whole 19, and hopefully we know that a decimal comes right after the whole number. This one will look really offset here, but that's all right. We put our placeholder zeros in, um, and we need a bunch of borrowing. This will turn to a 10, but we need to borrow from the 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 5 is 4. Decimal straight down. 8 minus 4 is 4, and then 1 minus 0 is 1, so 14 and 45 hundredths. And that is the halfway point, so hopefully 3 for 3. All right, number 4. Let's line these bad boys up here. All right, some placeholder zeros. 3 minus 0 is 3. 8 minus 0 is 8. Cannot do 7 minus 8. We don't want to go negative here, so we need to borrow. 17 minus 8 is 9. Dot, dot, dot. Decimal straight down. And 8 minus 7 is 1. So 1 and 983 thousandths. And on to number 5 here. Line up our decimals. Put placeholder zeros. 5, 4, dot, dot, dot. Need to borrow. Get to 11 minus 3, which is 8. 5 minus 3 is 2. So 28 and 45 hundredths. And then hopefully we finish strong here with number 6. Line up our decimals. Placeholder zeros. We need to borrow here. Oh, take from the 10, that's a 9. 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 5 is 4. Need to borrow again. 10 minus 7 is 3. Decimal straight down. Borrow. We get 15 minus 8 is 7. And bring our 1 straight down. So 17 and 347 thousandths. 
So that is the subtracting decimals mastery check. Hopefully five or six correct there out of the six. That would really show you know what you're doing. And if you didn't hit five or six correct, hopefully you saw where your mistakes were and you can improve upon those mistakes. So we have multiplying and dividing decimals next. I dropped the link to, uh, let's head to multiplying next. So I dropped the link to multiplying decimals um, down, in the, down in the description. So I will see you over at that video. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and let me know if there's any material you'd like me to cover down in the comments. Until next time, peace.